Right, this is just a quick video to show my first attempt at getting FSX working uh, across three computers um, networked individually, uh, one monitor per computer, so three computers in total, uh, running two Dell computers. This is a Dell Dostro dual core with a um, cheap ASUS half a gigabyte memory card. This is a second Dell computer which is running a quad core processor with uh, using the native graphics at the moment. Uh, just a gigabit, gigabit switch here and three, three 20 inch uh, ViewSonic uh, LCD monitors. Uh, this monitor from this computer, this monitor from this computer and this monitor here from this little network. Yeah. Um, the graphics are currently all set to low graphics for the benefit of the netbook, which hasn't got as much juice as the other two. Um, hopefully getting a couple more monitors to work for um, gauges and a outside spot view, perhaps even a fourth monitor for the, the outside view. Um, I'll just give you a quick play of uh, what it looks like. Currently uh, hovering around the Gatwick airfield, but again there's not much detail here, so uh, just bear with it. If I unpause it, as you can see all three are working in unison. It's quite hard to configure all three screens to work together, but at the moment they're pretty good. They're not bad at all, as you can see. If we bank round we should soon see Gatwick in the horizon. I can hold the camera straight. And we're achieving frame rates in all three computers of about 50 frames per second, which is what the target frames per second is, so that's not bad. Again, so to achieve that, I had to make the scenery quite low. So there we can see Gatwick in the, in the distance. I'll just zoom in for a second. See as that splits across the two screens. That's so quite well. So let's just come back here and view the three screens together. And we'll try and give you a good example of the synchronization between the three. If I can align the aircraft whilst holding the camera. Here we can see we're crossing the, the taxiway and the main runway. Although from this it looks like Gatwick has two runways. I might be wrong, but I thought it had one. I'm just going to do a flyby over the two. You'd be killed to death in real life, but there's only pretend. as you can see there. Horizons all line up. Clouds look pretty good. And, uh, a steep a steep bank here. Without losing the aircraft hopefully. And you can see the runways come back into the picture on the middle monitor. Right online as well. Just going to pause it for a second. So, in wide view, we've told the three monitors, we've told the central monitor that it is at zero degrees to the, the operator, so it's, uh, it's as if we're looking straight out of the front window. Uh, you can then configure the two side monitors, which I have done here. Um, and you can, can configure them to have a 45 degree aspect so it will get more of a side view if you wanted to you could extend the monitors all the way around that for the moment I've only got the three and I've not got enough computers um, so I'll just unpause it as you can see there's a slight discrepancy um, upon these two monitors if I zoom in Oops. 
to say, if you fiddled with it long enough, you could get them bang on target, but uh, it's, it's not too bad. And the closer you get to the ground, you can actually notice the discrepancies and, and the, uh, the, the slight stutter, but it can be perfected. So there we go.